the Illinois Paddling Council had a unique opportunity to tour the newly restored DuPage River Superfund site. The trip had to be postponed in April due to weather, but today's trip enjoyed a near perfect day. We met and signed in at the takeout at Blackwell's Mac Road. And then we shuttled the group to the put-in in Warrenville's Riverside Park. We had a total of 19 boats and 26 people including several representatives from the Forest Preserve District, two district commissioners, and two representatives from the contractor and consultants. I had the pleasure of paddling with newly elected Forest Preserve Commissioner, Linda Painter. This was her first time ever in a canoe, and she did amazingly well. We stopped periodically along the river so that John Oldenburg and John Mills could explain the work that has been done. And, uh, so the, the challenge is to not only do that and still maintain at least a I'm having a little fun with John Oldenburg, but it is clear that he is very passionate about the wonderful things that have been accomplished. We all found it hard to believe that as little as two years ago, this pastoral scene was dominated by huge earth-moving vehicles and trucks going up and down the river, and that a small mountain of material had been removed from this beautiful lake. Up and down this river community, probably, uh, although we've had help from time to time, she personally has probably put in over 4,000 plants or so. But uh, this place is really starting to shape up. Uh, we're starting to get some excellent habitat, and we're very uh, hopeful that the reintroduction of species of fish uh, not just because they're endangered and threatened, but because they have a place in the biological food web that hasn't been present in here. Our thanks to Tom and Barbara Richardson and Ray Zemer for an extremely well-planned and educational kickoff paddle. <laughs>